We can also use function notation evaluate polynomial for a variable expression. f of 3c minus 4, find that value given f of x equals 5x squared plus 1. This just means take this expression, f of 3c minus 4. This 3c minus 4 is what you plug in for x, the whole expression. So if I want to find f of 3c minus 4 given f of x equals 5x squared plus 1, I am going to replace the x with this expression of 3c minus 4. And then simplify. Now remember to square a binomial means you're actually multiplying it by itself. So you have 3c minus 4 times 3c minus 4. And then you're just distributing. 3c times 3c is 9c squared. 3c times negative 4 is negative 12c. Negative 4 and 3c is negative 12c. Negative 4 and negative 4 is positive 16. So I get 9c squared minus 24c plus 16. That's just from squaring the binomial. I still have the 5 on the outside and then the plus 1. Now I'm going to distribute and get 45c squared minus 120c plus 80 plus 1. Combine your like terms and you get 45c squared minus 120c plus 81. So you can evaluate a polynomial for a variable expression. Just plug it in. Make sure you put in parentheses. Do your order of operations. We're going to do the exponents first. So we distribute, get our trinomial. Then we're going to multiply by 5 and then combine or add 1. It's the same idea for number 4. f of x equals 3x minus 8. Find f of 3c minus 4. We want to take the 3c minus 4 and plug it in for our x. So we have 3 times x. So I'm going to put in times 3c minus 4 minus 8 and then just distribute and combine like terms. You get 9c minus 12 minus 8. The negative 12 and negative 8 give you negative 20. And so you get 9c minus 20. So we have worked with function notation before in previous lessons. Now we're just applying it to polynomials, and we follow the same process of distribute, plug in, distribute, combine like terms, and simplify our answer.